Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for another BTS vlog. That's right, we're starting our next BTS vlog. And why? Well, because we finished the last BTS vlog. <laughs> so, let's give me the time and date stamp. It is uh, one hour and 45 minutes into the day of Wednesday, February uh, 26, 2014. That's right. And this is the BTS vlog that's going to cover... Uh, it's gonna go. It's gonna cover the days of uh, the last little bit of the days of the twenty fifth, twenty sixth. It's gonna cover the twenty sixth, uh, twenty seventh, definitely. And we'll see if we uh, get the twenty eighth, uh, depending on how much material we actually put in here. I'm playing some more stuff, so uh, you know we should have something good you know, for what we're trying to do here. Um, I was thinking about, uh, about, uh, the BTS vlogs and about reality shows and really realizing that, uh, part of a reality show, the drama of the reality show, the uncertainty that, that the characters, uh, face. And many, many of the, uh, these reality shows are, are, in many cases, they're scripted and rescripted. Uh, I don't intend to have any scripts here. Things happen as they occur. I said, now that I've got the uh, backroom camera working, I can uh, uh, vlog and capture this moment right when I get up. So I just got out of bed. It's morning for me. It's uh, just about it's, it's quarter to two in the morning. Uh, as uh, if you've been watching my prior my prior um, vlogs, my BTS vlogs, you'll know. That my time shifts, so when my when I actually get up is not consistent. It's not uh, stationary, and you'll see this. You'll uh, you know you know because I'll be back here now doing the vlogs when I get up. And the thing is, is you'll see that there's there isn't a consistent time I'm getting up. And you'll also know that uh, there's a, there isn't a consistent time when I go to bed. So you know it, a lot of times depends on the amount of work that has to get done during the day and uh, other things like that. Uh, and the thing is, things always pop up. There's always, you know, in many of these adventures that uh, you have while you're doing uh, doing uh, your daily work. You know, you're trying to get through the day. And I'm trying to do open exploration. I'm trying to sort of be the uh, open source or uh, freeware ver and sort of... Um, Freegan version of NASA, where I'm trying to do this large exploration, you know, this large exploration, you know, very, very large exploration on very little money. So, uh, it is, excuse me, it is a fair bit of challenge, and I don't know why as soon as I start talking, I'm on camera, I have to yawn. I don't yawn this much when I'm, when I'm not talking, and if, if I'm not on camera, when I'm talking, as I start to talk, that's when I start to yawn. So, <clears throat> go figure. I'll sit down. I'll sit down and study it one day. But right now, it's uh, <laughs> it's too it's too early. I still have to sort of get started. You know, get myself organized, and uh, get on with the day. One of the things that sort of popped up last night, um, and I went to my parents' house. Uh, I would, I've been I've been sort of dealing with a bit of a crash. We call it a micro crash <sighs> due to sleep depri due to sleep deprivation, and that means I've been sleeping longer, longer hours. And 
So I went to my parents' house yesterday f uh, for dinner, and we had, again, another interesting conversation. We always have interesting conversations. My dad is a priest. He's got a, a strong theological background in Eastern Christianity. This is the this is not the Western Christianity. Uh, we are with a... I think there's always been with churches who are primarily with underground movements. In other words, uh, uh, back in the day when we first started off, we were with the uh, underground Russian church. Uh, the, the underground Russian church was the church uh, that uh, under the communism, were, you had uh, secret churches where uh, Christians would gather for liturgy, and if you were caught, you would be sent to jail, you'd be sent, uh, sent into the gulags. And you would spend the rest of your life there, if depending on how long you lived, as these places were rather brutal. And I got to know people, and this is so you know, and you hear stories from people uh, who, because if you go back into Nazi history, you'll find out that not only were the Nazis against the Jews, but they were also against the Slavs. And as you under, begin to understand that, you go back into the history of this stuff. And you meet, meet some of these Slavs, some of the Slavs I have met. Uh, some of the older ones, as we were having dinner, would talk about what it was like in the Nazi concentration camps because they were there. They, uh, uh, for those of you who don't understand, the Serbs and a lot of Slavs were in these camps. They, they weren't there as guards. Uh, they were there as prisoners. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it really sort of shapes your foundation when you start you, you hear these sort of the, 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 you know their you know what life was like uh, in a concentration camp. Ugh. One of the bishops I knew often described, uh, and I, but I didn't realize it at the time, was describing what it was like to have church, to have liturgy inside a concentration camp, inside a concentration camp. And you know, this is what I was saying. You you should never really sort really sort of discount. Uh, the people that you meet in your life, because uh, you never know what they've been through or uh, how they actually fit into history. I mean, because it, these people have brought personal, uh, personal, the personal side to the goings on in history. So you know, it's not only history for me is no longer is, is not an issue of facts and dates, but rather of personalities and interaction of personalities. Uh, within these periods of time, and it, to me, it's the personalities in history that are, is often a lot more fascinating than history itself. Uh, and the thing is, once you understand the personalities, then you can sort of understand the history, the history as well. You know, there, there's sort of a connection between the two that you miss if you don't do that. Uh, anyways, we're getting to the end of our time. Uh, I know I forget things in here, or I start talking about it. I get on a tangent, and I forget things. So I will see what I can remember in the next for the next segment. The next segment will be on the research desk because uh, the uh, electronic bench is still uh, being repaired, being upgraded. Uh, we did our one test shot there, and then we'll go from there. Anyways, see you in a couple of hours for the next segment. All right, bye. -bye. <laughs> Well, it's uh, time for the uh, second segment of the BTS log. That's right. Let's give you the time and date stamp. It is 13 hours and 5 minutes into the day of Wednesday, February 26, 2014. If you noticed, we started earlier this morning at around 2 o'clock this morning at 2 a.m. And so given that it was uh, 2 a.m., and it's now 1 p.m. We're just we're just approaching the two-hour mark, so uh, to the 12-hour mark. So it's been a 12-hour day. I did do uh, 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 the funny thing is I went food shopping too. Uh, I was supposed to bring the camera. I thought I was going to bring the camera with me until the temperature outside, and we are having another Arctic blast. It was uh, uh, just about three degrees Fahrenheit, or about minus 13 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, it was, it was rather, uh, it wasn't, it, it started off cold, but when I, by the time I got back, I was warm. That's the way it usually is. When I, when I started off walking for the first 
half hour, 45 minutes, I'm cold, not feeling that good, uh, feeling the fatigue from, 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 uh, from the day. But on the way back, the adrenaline is pumping, and the things have completely changed around. I'm now more awake and more alert, and uh, not as tired, and, and I'm certainly, uh, certainly warmed up. Matter of fact, some, this wasn't the case today. It was cold enough that when I got back, I wasn't sweating. But uh, before, I used to come back, and I'd be uh, sweating so much that my shirt would be soaked through. And I'm, ta I'm talking about my, my sweatshirt here. The sweatshirt would be soaked through. But anyways, it's on, on to the topic at, at hand, and this is sort of something uh, I didn't really think I'd be do, doing, but uh, let's do this anyways. Um, I'm happy to have comments. Thank you for everyone who commented. And I think sometimes these things get a little complicated because my life is kind of complicated. So I decided rather than doing long explanations of questions where long explanations were needed, I'd simply do a video. Uh, addressing the issue. So if you see your name in the description down below, that means uh, I've answered your comment uh, in here. In the, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to do a brief comment reply, brief reply, and a thank you. But the full comment will be here in the video. Because it, after all, it is YouTube. You're watching our show, and yay for you for commenting. Right, and this is for, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, the username is uh, Chick Mick, uh McNick Nix. Okay. Uh, and he says, Great intro. Uh, is that popcorn on the floor? Uh, on the floor? Uh, you seem uh, to you seem to hashtag out. Uh, interesting show concept. So I thank you for that. Um, the, the place is always in, in a state of flux. The uh, kitchen diner is uh, always under some degree of construction. Same thing around... Oh, oh, Almost everything here is is on some degree of construction, so the what's on the floor is always a mess. It's not the same mess; it just it changes from week to week. But I can never guarantee you that there's going to be a clean floor because as one thing as one project finishes, another project project begins. That's kind of the way things go around. That's kind of the way things go around here. Uh, I. I know how to do the plumbing, so I take care of all the plumbing myself. I know how to do the electrical, so I do the electrical by myself. Uh, I also do general maintenance, too. So, uh, And this is in addition to building all the different studios, doing all the different work for the various different things. Um, there's electronic parts around. Sometimes I get, I get contracts where I go out to work on uh, electronics for people's houses, and that sort of makes a mess on the floor there. Uh, <laughs> and I think as I said, um, the um, the hashtags, because this show handles such a variety of topics, and I really never know what, what topics are going to be in there. Uh, and hashtags in the because of Google Plus now, hashtags are actually a good way of of uh, getting some of the stuff that you're actually talking about or potentially talking about uh, to be seen by by search engines, and. This is it was kind of a way of sort of moving yourself up in the search and you can't hashtag to the point where you don't have to, where you, you, your video has nothing to do with that hashtag. If it's if it's reasonable that like this is what I've chosen for the hashtag. These are the topics that are reasonably going to be in or possibly be in the vlogs. So that's why I use the hashtags the way they do. Uh, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not there. You know, it really depends on what's happening and what I'm talking about. And this is sort of the case here, and this is the question, this is sort of the comment made by, uh, uh, I think, Cheryl uh, McMurray. It says, if you're serious, uh, if, if, you're, if you are serious, you definitely need to be a little more professional for yawning every five minutes. Uh, people don't uh, take you seriously. Well, that's true. He says, she, he's also with a positive side. She says, I'm very interested in this site. Uh, I'm interested in finding out all about all the things you promised in the show and see if I live up to it. And one of the things I wrote back in, in the, the saying this is that, yeah, I shouldn't be yawning as much, but there are two particular points to this. One, this show, and this is what I've promised people, uh, this show, uh, BTS Log, is all behind the scene. I mean, because it's a reality show, uh, I want it to be real. I don't want things edited out. I don't want things reshot or re-edited. Uh, so I want people to see the reality in here. 
and that's why I don't I don't take the yawning out. You'll find in other uh, uh, shows, as the shows develop, go, they go beyond season zero because season zero is still pretty rough. It's pretty raw. It's development. You're seeing behind the scenes. As it moves into season one, you'll see these stuff get, get cut out. You'll see a more polished show. What this whole channel for is for now, particularly Cyborg Alpha TV, Cyborg Alpha TV itself is for the raw, rough behind the scenes. Once we move out of season zero, all the shows that move out of season zero into season one will be on physics TV. Physics TV, TV will be the polished show. But what, what's, what Cyborg Alpha TV do, will, will provide once you have physics TV is people will come back and see where I started from, how the shows developed, and you'll be able to see all the rough notes. And the thing is, this is actually what a researcher does. A researcher keeps a log. You keep a journal of what you're doing on a daily basis. And, you, and, and, and the notes are rough. They, they are rough. They're supposed to be rough. And in in research terms, you're not supposed to cross things up. You're not supposed to cut mistakes up. You're supposed to leave the mistakes in there so that it forms a record of what you did before. And this is why nothing is actually cut out of here. It can actually for, provide a good scientific base. This includes, uh, because I talk about my sleep deprivation, looking at my yawning, you can see the sleep depri deprivation in there. You can see when I'm sleep deprived. You can see a lot of my physical condition. So the yawning is not because I'm um, bored. It's because of my, it's my physical condition. This is what's, what my body is doing right now because of the sleep deprivation. And it's not, it could point point prove something, you know, for other researchers. It could be good. Anyways, our time is up, and I will talk to you in the next segment. All right, good night. <laughs> Time for another BPS vlog. That's right. Uh, let me give you the time and date stamp. It's um, let's see here. It's three hours and fifth three hours and fourteen minutes into the day of Thursday, February twenty seventh, uh, two thousand fourteen. This is the uh, third segment of the BTS vlogs for uh, let's see here, twenty fifth to the twenty eighth. I'm assuming. Uh, it might actually be to the 27th because I am producing enough content that I should be able to finish it tonight. The fourth segment should be later on tonight. So that means it's not going to go to the 28th. It's going to go just to the 27th. And the 28th will be the new day. As it, what happens a lot of times is that you, you, the BTS vlogs have to follow the schedule that goes here, that comes here. But, uh, in, terms of, in terms of the daily going go, going on. I mean, yesterday I started at 2 o'clock in the morning. Today I'm starting around 3-ish in the morning. And it is, it, I was up earlier, but I just decided to stay lying in bed and uh, relax for a little bit. Just to give myself a couple extra hours to uh, just sort of uh, rest up a little bit. Because I did walk yesterday. I did a you know, fair amount of walk. So I... So I had to take you know, an extra three hours. I woke up at midnight to start the day, but said, oh, let's stay in bed for another three hours. So that's what I did, and I just got up now and uh, came here. So, but, uh, <clears throat> today, you know, these, this, this BTS vlog, we seem to have a lot, we have a lot of material, so, uh, enough material so that uh, we're not, we don't have to sort of really stretch things out. Uh, and I'm in the it, with, with, with the with the with the new camera back here. It makes it easier to vlog. I've resolved the sound problem. If you look at yes, the the, the vlog that went up. Uh, let's see which vlog was it. It was it should be uh, the latest vlog that went up because we, the latest vlog hasn't gone up. So let's see when the vlog was. Oh yeah, the tw if you're looking at the vlog for, for February twenty third to twenty fifth. Uh, that has segments that are back here. I resolve the audio issues, and uh, we're fine now. So uh, <laughs> we're vlogging the way we're supposed to vlog. And uh, let me just sort of get this going here. Down to here. There we go. We're vlogging the way we're supposed to vlog, and that means. Uh, we're doing a good job at it, and, and we're sort of, you know, everything's on schedule, and we've got the content. So, 
and the, the, going back to uh, uh, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl, uh, uh, or, 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 or yeah, Cheryl uh, McMurray, uh, her thing about uh, about the seriousness of, uh, about stuff. I like to point out. I'm going to put two links in the description uh, by her uh, name, and this is one to uh, to uh, Jamie Heineman. He's uh, from. Um, He's from uh, MythBusters, and they have a, web, a website called. Uh, they have a YouTube channel called Tested, and in there he was. He's actually giving a lecture. He was invited to give a lecture to uh, a bunch of space uh, space scientists, they're rocket scientists, and uh, as he did so, the title of, of his uh, the title of his talk was "Innovation Explosions and the Benefit of Adolescent Behavior." And what he talks about there, he talks about how uh, science, particularly research, and this is the area that I'm in, I'm in exploration in, in, in research, uh, and it's open. It's called open exploration, open research, because uh, you don't know where things are going to come from. You don't know where the next big idea that, that's going to move you forward and, and solve a particular problem, you don't know where it's going to come from. So you really can't discount things and say, oh, well, something doesn't look professional so I won't take a look at it. You really do have to take a look. You have to consider all things and this is talking about uh, earlier uh, saying this about the Instaflux that you can't simply dismiss someone's ideas and thoughts because you don't like them. Even if you don't like the person you can't again you can't simply go out and dismiss these thoughts and ideas. You have to deal with them and the reason why you have to deal with these thoughts and ideas is that because it, 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 you don't know whether a person's thoughts and ideas, where they came from, how they were influenced, and there might be something to them that you never thought of before. There could be aspects of a particular topic that you maybe think you know a lot about. That, yeah, you may know a lot about, about that time. This is what I was talking before, and I, I brought this up in, um, again, I brought this up in Insta Vlogs. Let me just get up this book here. This is one of the books I have back here. And I was talking about perspective. Now, people think that perspective, that all, it's all opinion. But not in science. See, what happens, in science, opinion is not simply concept. It's not abstract the way it is in philosophy. In science, we do understand because of the physics, because of the uh, results of the atomic bomb, that there is a beyond us. So what happens is that, yes, things are unknown. Yes, there's an uncertainty. But there's a limit to this uncertainty. The certainty is with us. There is a beyond us. There is a reality. So let's talk about perspective here. Let's take this this textbook, this book on uh, astrophysics, right? There's the front, and then there's the back. If I'm sitting, if, if we're sitting here, you're you, and I'm me, and we're talking about this book. We're talking about our perspective of this book, and the perspective is how we see the book. I'm going to describe the back, and you're going to describe the front. And I can tell you everything there is about the back. And you're going to disagree with me because you're talking about the front. So what happens is if I dismiss your ideas, even though I know everything about this back here, I'll be dismissing ideas about the front. And that's what I'm talking about here in science and you know, in, in research. Appearances can be deceiving. You have to investigate further. And this is sort of what the evolution of this BTS vlog is about. This is what about the Insta vlogs are about. The BTS vlogs became the ad hoc notes. This is sort of the notes that are all over the place. There is no particular form to them. And I'm using these ad hoc notes, these ad hoc designs, to bring in the new show de the sh new show designs. So wait, hey, I could do the ad hoc I did the ad hoc notes there. New shows and concept ideas start off with ad hoc notes, so bring them into to the BTS vlogs. Because BTS vlogs stand, BTS stands for behind the scenes. You're seeing behind the scenes. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, as this vlogs grew up and, and, and it went out to its own list. So, you know, you have a lot of different options uh, the, to work with uh, when you're not closed-minded, when you sort of... Not, that's, the average person is closed-minded because you always see your perspective. It does take an effort to, to shut your perspective down for a bit and say, let me consider somebody else's perspective even though it may not look professional, it may not look what I expect it to be. If you do that, then 
you're opening yourself up to a whole new aspect of things that maybe you never considered before. Anyways, this is it for the third segment. Uh, I will come back. Hey, you know, I'm not going to come back. I'm going to end the uh, end the end this segment because we do have enough to discuss here. I'm going to extend this segment, give an extended segment, uh, and say that you know you do you should be considerate of others perspective not because you're being considerate and respectful because there may be something there if you take a further look that you didn't expect that you in other words it gives you a new perspective that you may never have considered before and it doesn't, doesn't mean you necessarily have to agree with the perspective it's just that it's something further to consider and it, just because you don't agree with, with all the stuff you may be think that some, some of it you may reject some of it you may accept Others, if you go, if you, if you're intent going beyond gaining perspective and going and going into seeking experience, and this is part of my research is, is to go in and see, not to succeed, see, not not to get simply perspective, but to get experience. If you're going to go and and understand other people's uh, experience, and this is what I do when when I read other people's work and look at other people's work as well, if they, they, they produce a video, find out who they are. Uh, find out as much as you can about them. Why? Because the, who the person is often affects and is reflected in what they write. And if you can understand who they are, you now have an experience behind the written work or the produced work that you may, that will often benefit you in terms of your research, in terms of finding out, going out and finding the details of this particular document, let's say a documentary comes out, you want to find out about the person who put the, who put, who put the documentary together. Is the person talking on the documentary that, that looks like the professor, did he do the work or did he palm the work off onto a researcher? If this person pawned the work off onto the research, how did, onto a researcher, did he fact check? Did he make sure that this work is right or did he, is he simply presenting the work? And then he is not, again, let's get into this here, he does not represent a gender here. When I'm talking generally about anybody, it could be he or she. I don't use he or she. I use he to refer is, is the pronoun to man the species. So man the species covers covers everybody. It covers all the. So is he for man the species is genderless. No gender there. Uh, so when you look at a a, 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 a work. And you're looking at the person's, uh, uh, the person behind it. You really want to find out, you know, what do they contribute to the product project? What influences did they bring to it? Because that's going to affect what actually shows up in the project. And the thing is, influences come from bizarre places. And some of even let's say let's say the person puts out something that's wrong. You know this is wrong. Where did that wrong influence come from? How did that wrong influence get into where it, where it is? You know, and the wrong influence means doesn't mean they have to be bad person it just means that the, uh, the the thing he's talking about is wrong but the reason why he got the wrong idea the wrong you know <laughs> the wrong information is because there was an influence that caused him to get that, that produced this wrong thought it could be a person it could be a thing it could be an event that produced this wrong uh, uh, thought this wrong idea and if you want to decode that you want to sort of figure that out and see how this mechanism works, then you have to go in and look for all the different pieces. And this is what BTS Vlog does. And this is what uh, uh, Instavlog does. And this is what this channel is. We are not a science channel. We're not presenting science here. We're not presenting science. I'm not presenting science. I am a scientist. I am a researcher. You're seeing science as it is done in the lab. You're seeing research as it's being done. You're seeing the exploration as it's being done. It's not being presented afterward. You're not seeing a presentation of research. You're seeing the research. And so this is why you have the differences. This is why you have what you have now in terms of uh, our understanding of things. In terms of, you know, this, you know, when we're watching this, well, you know, you're not always professional. Sometimes your eyes are closed. Sometimes you're yawning. Sometimes you're this. I think the yawning is it is it's, it's an indication of my sleep deprivation. How tired am I? How fatigued is my body? If you're seeing me yawn in a video, if you're seeing me 
act sluggish, if my words are slurred. These are the effects of sleep deprivation. They're the physical effects of sleep deprivation. And I can see it myself. And I didn't realize that I could use this as medical research to go back and say, well, what effect does sleep deprivation have? Does sleep deprivation, particularly when you're driving or you're working on some, does it impair you to the point that you be that it looks like you're you're, you're uh, intoxicated? You no, know? uh, talk, if you're talking about DUI, driving while intoxicated, well, does sleep deprivation do this? And the answer is yes. So what about fatigued pilots? What about fatigued train engineer oper You know, you know, train you, tra train uh, train engineers. You, you look at these train wrecks. What did fatigue play a role in this uh, train wreck? You know, look at an airplane crash. Did it was a pilot fatigued? Did you know? Did this, did this fatigue? Looking at my sleep deprivation, does this sleep deprivation impair your ability to make proper decisions, to act properly, to act fast enough? Does, does it slow your reflexes down, so that you're seeing something, but your response to what you're seeing, because your body is impaired because of sleep, does it slow you down? And look, look, look at my videos. Look at the videos where I am sleep deprived, heavily sleep deprived. Look at my look at my my speech. Look at my uh, my sleep my, my speech patterns. Am I slurred? Am I slow? You know, this will give you the indication here. Is it, this is all raw. This is all real. It's unedited. And I, you know, I thank you for your comments. This these comments help me get these th ideas out. You know, to sort of rehash them again. Anyways, that's it for this BTS vlog. And again, and because this is this is it for this BTS vlog. Uh, the BTS vlogs that will be coming next will be for uh, February 27th and 28th. <laughs> That's what it looks like now. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>